Welcome back to day 25 of 30 Day Slim Photoshop. This is the Eraser and Spot Healing Tools lesson. My name is Ben Gribbin and in today's lesson we're going to look at how to use the Eraser and Spot Healing Tools to repair photos and remove sections of layers. So let's jump into Photoshop and we're going to open up the course damage photograph that we have been using. This photograph's been heavily worn, parts of it have got torn off and there's some noise and artifacts and all kinds of stuff on there. So we're going to use a spot healing tool to repair it as well as then using the eraser to remove the background of this layer for example. So we're going to start with the eraser. Now it does exactly as you would expect. So we're going to go on to magic wand tool, select this background kind of roughly um, and then we're just going to make sure we've got all of these areas down here selected just by pressing shift with the rectangular marquee tool. We're then going to jump to the eraser tool. Now it's based upon brushes like all the best tools in Photoshop. It's got the ability to change hardness, size, the brush mode, the opacity, the flow and we can also erase two parts of our history. So we've selected all the elements that we want to erase and let's show you what the different modes do. Make sure you haven't got on your eraser tool erase to history set because this will erase to the original history point and that is our default image so unless you want it to erase to that otherwise just use the, art, the history brush tool which does the same thing basically. So we've selected our background we've got a brush head here nice and circular nice and smooth it can be set to a lower hardness thus fading it in and out and it can be set to different sizes and different brush heads and we can install different ones as we've discussed these can actually use add-on brush sets as well so that's not a problem the pencil tool though is a little bit more blocky so let's put it back to one of the circular brush heads and click on there and it's a little bit difficult to notice but if we just increase the size it's not got as much anti-aliasing on so we've got a bit more of a Microsoft Paint style edge to what we are erasing and then finally we've got the block mode which literally is just a block so that's as it comes um, that's the block it's a little bit faffy so generally most people will use brush or pencil and if you delete in large areas anyway you can just press delete so let's just remove the background using the eraser tool and then we've done a pretty decent delete of most of the background we could actually then go over using this tool just going over these areas just to make sure we've selected everything because it was a bit of a messy background so that's the eraser tool selected by pressing E on your on your keyboard very easy tool to use and as you can see there we've used it with or without selection we were able to delete most of the background of this photograph but we can also use it to just basically wipe out areas and if we're careful with the brushing it can be a little bit quicker than having to mask off areas and things like that so it's a case of balancing it out and working out what works best for you when you are working with these tools next is the spot healing brush tool again a brush based tool so you are able to install different heads you're able to change the size the rotation the pen pressure all kinds of stuff on there and you can set it to replace and some different color modes and also you can have it on content aware create texture proximity match so we're going to look at what those different options do as well as sampling or layers so simply put the spot healing brush tool will clean up and remove small unwanted marks damage pixels that kind of thing from an image uh, a little bit more easily than the standard healing brush and it's sort of automatic compared to the clone stamp so it's a little bit quicker and that's where its use will come in so how does it work well the brush tool here actually calculates from the pixels and textures and tone and lighting around where you're repairing to try and repair it so using proximity match on the spot healing menu will try and match the brush shape to the pixels around it to help with the repair so for example like this that has done a pretty decent job of repairing it whereas the lines not doing too well because it's all connected some of the pixels are this line and so it's comparing those and thinking ah oh, 
need to continue the line so unless you start painting and brushing areas more with the background on uh, you can do that you can drag to repair areas right so it does a pretty decent job overall usually this mode will work best proximity match and it's kind of your default but just in case it doesn't put it on to create texture and create texture will use all the pixels within an area to try and make the fix so this is a little bit more uh, fiddly and it takes a little bit more computer processing and as you can see it is making um, noise and texture to try and blend it in so that's the textured version of the spot healing tool and then content aware actually works out again what the content of the file is so that does work pretty decently and it's just a matter of using all three of those tools to try and work out what's going to work best in the image if it doesn't work at all which it can do in some cases because of the difference in colors and contrast for example if there was a big damage to this and oh, we just accidentally clicked the eraser tool if there was a bit of damage to this area here and um, we went onto the spot healing tool did a brush mark there it's going to start messing it up because it's different colors different contrast it does confuse the tool somewhat so let's just go remove those and bearing in mind this tool is really more suited to light damage and the healing and clone stamp tools actually offer more control over your repairs especially on the contrasted areas of two alternate colors as we've just showed you so the final option for this tool is all layers now that as we've talked about on other tools literally just samples more than one layer so if you wanted to repair a whole group of layers we could do that and it would actually sample all of the layers to work out what needs repairing and why but that can get a little bit complicated and it can confuse the tool so do be aware of that when you're doing so so what have we learned in today's lesson well we've looked at how to use the eraser and spot healing tools and your task for the lesson is to find an image with some sort of defect it could be perhaps a blemish on the person's skin in the photograph or the actual photograph itself has been damaged and then use the spot healing brush tool to repair it next time on 30 days to learn photoshop we'll be looking at the course project photo manipulation thanks for listening